my dogs and cats living together at the Terrier. What's up, you telekinetic bastards, and welcome back to The Lucid Nightmare. I'm your host as always, Jay Schatzer, and today I have a classic Stephen King adaption here. It is Brian De Palma's 1976, like I said, classic. It is Carrie, and this one is just all kinds of wild fun with a great intimate premise that really hits home and just makes you love movies that much more than you already did. Guys, let's not waste any more time and jump right in. Here is Carrie. Carrie is a wonderfully intimate horror entry, adapted from the 1974 novel by American horror writer Stephen King, and directed by the accomplished filmmaker Brian De Palma. Drenched in a lurid atmosphere of supernatural elements and religious motifs, this iconic production boasts a remarkable cast of memorable characters, and a long list of outstanding moments that captures the writings of Stephen King and beautifully renders it for the silver screen. When it comes to unsettling horror that truly shows you something wholly unique and absolutely genuine, not many films come close to the brilliance of Carrie. The film follows a young outsider named Carrie White, who plagued by mean-spirited bullies at school and oppressed by her God-fearing mother at home, begins experiencing some dramatic changes. Gifted with the power of telekinesis, Carrie struggles with controlling her emotions, but everything comes to a head as a popular girl at school named Chris Harginson plots to get her revenge on Carrie at the upcoming prom dance. With the festivities looming and Carrie's mother becoming even more frantic over her ungodly powers, will Carrie be able to keep them in check, or will this be a night to remember? Sissy Spacek takes on the central role of Carrie White, the troubled young teen whose inexplicable powers have wildly gone out of control. Playing the timid and restrained character to a T, Spacek does a wonderful job in projecting a ridiculous amount of sympathy into her role. We truly feel sorry for her character, even more so when she begins going through personal changes both physically and supernaturally. The loneliness that her character deals with is tremendously portrayed, and Sissy Spacek's performance is the essential ingredients that make this entire story so enthralling and entertaining to watch. Rounding out the rest of the cast is a collection of amazing actors and actresses that help flesh out this intriguing world that both Stephen King and Brian De Palma have crafted. The standout performers are Piper Laurie as Margaret White, Carrie's overbearing mother and overboard religious fanatic. Amy Irving as Sue Snell, a classmate of Carrie's who feels sorry for her constant bullying. William Catt as Tommy Ross, a young man who decides to go to the prom with Carrie to make her feel important. John Travolta as Billy Nolan, a rebellious teen who becomes a pawn in a deadly game of revenge. Betty Buckley as Miss Collins, a compassionate teacher who tries to lend a hand to Carrie's problems. And last but definitely not least, is Nancy Allen as Chris Harginson, a spiteful little bitch who has nothing but revenge on her mind. It goes without saying that the cast of Carrie is stacked to the moon, and everyone does a stupendous job in creating this fully lived in cinematic world. With atmosphere and wicked intentions to spare, Carrie is a truly remarkable gem. The direction of Ryan De Palma is top notch class showcasing a great deal of impressive moments that genuinely set you into the story, threatening to drown you in all the craziness on screen. The look and overall feel of the film is magical, as we follow Carrie White through her trials and tribulations, as an odd teenager just trying to make it in a cruel and soulless world. The twisting narrative and ambiguous nature of some of its cast really makes the film an entertaining amalgam, which uproots you and projects you into the story as we dread the final conclusion that we all know will end in bloodshed. From start to finish, the entire film is classic to say the least, and unfortunately, they really don't make movies like this anymore. In the end, Carrie is a fabulously delirious horror flick that is plain and simply to die for. And there you have it, you creepy outcasts. That is the great Brian De Palma flick, Carrie. 
just classically done and a film that I actually didn't appreciate too much until recently. I've always for some reason avoided it and didn't think much of it. But I watched it just uh, last month I would say and I loved it, thought it was great, uh, loved the direction that Brian De Palma had and just a great story overall. So if you haven't checked it out or put it on the back burner like I did, don't. Just check it out as soon as possible and really appreciate this great gem. But guys, that's it for me today. Hope you enjoyed that one and I hope you like what I'm doing here. If you do, please like and subscribe. And if you have time, leave a comment below because I'd love to hear from you. But until then, I will see you at the next Movie Review. Take care.